Alright, well. Welcome to my, my mic on? I think it is on. Alright. Yo, mic check. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Alright, I think you guys can. Alright. So we're going to go and talk about some stuff. As you guys can see from the title, we're going to talk about some things and answer some questions. If anybody got any questions they want to ask. And we're going to go from there. And I'm going to tell you why and what you should have done and how you should have prevented that from happening. You know, things to prevent that in the future. Because there's nothing you can do now. Because if it happened, it happened. And there's no way getting out of it. So <laughs> it's too late if you already took that white. All right, so that is set up. just opening this up guys I was just setting up everything before we got started all right so what's up guys yeah we got like 39 people here in under a couple seconds that's crazy be sure to smash that like button if you guys haven't already that's insane <laughs> I wish I can get you guys to pop in like that when I'm playing another game bro but the minute you guys see GTA oh my god no bro I'm I, I don't get wiped I don't get white. I don't get white. Yeah, your account will definitely get reset. Yeah, they're wiping accounts, man. They're wiping accounts. So, if your account, if your account hasn't got wiped yet, man, I don't get white because I got ban insurance and I know what to do and what not to do and how to manage my account. And I like to preach that a lot, a lot when it comes to you guys man I'm always telling you guys about insurance right when it comes to this insurance policy is everything I modded my own accounts so I protected myself what's banned insurance alright so I'm gonna answer these questions if you guys got any question wanna ask I'm gonna answer them for you so what is banned insurance right banned insurance is when you buy multiple apart like apartments or garages right and you fill those garages up with the most expensive car in the game. Most people like to put deluxos in there too. So you get the most expensive vehicle in the game and you fill those garages up because you know if a money wipe is happening, then you need insurance. So if your account do get hit, you can sell all those cars at a later date, later date to get your money back. You know, you won't get all your millions and trillions or billion dollars back, but you will get enough back. You know, now we're we're able to have up to eight properties. If you guys did not know that, we got eight properties right now. So you want to basically one garage is basically for your custom vehicles that you like that you race with if you're a racer, and the rest of them is just full up with cars that you can sell at a later date. Like this is what I try to inform people about. You know, when that glitch came out, everybody's like all excited about that glitch. The, the apartment glitch, right? With the garages, with the CEO office, and transferring out with the lower garage and getting two million back another a couple of minutes, right? So, why is this not Apex? I'll get to that later. So, that being said, when YouTubers put stuff out like that for you guys, you have to understand that you do these things at your own risk. These people don't care about you. I want you guys to understand that they don't care about you, man. Which is why I always preach in the GK, GTA community when it came to doing glitches, how to protect your account. I always informed everybody about that. But you know what people like to do? People like, oh, I'm broke. I need money. Let me jump on this glitch. No. No, 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 no. Because chances are the person that's doing this glitch and showing you this glitch is not going to get banned. They rarely get banned for that stuff. And most of these guys are doing it on dummy accounts. You guys are doing these glitches on your main accounts, your primary accounts, right? Defend the business battle. Oh, there's a business battle going on here? Oh. <laughs> so you're doing this stuff on your main accounts, and that's a problem. So chances are you're going to get banned. And I don't, I don't want to see you guys get banned. Yeah, we gotta go defend it. So I don't want to see you guys get banned, bro. Now, something else that you guys can do. That's at the damn, damn, damn. So something that you guys can do, right? I don't really care about that, <laughs> to be honest with you. 
So it's something else that you guys can do. If you don't take out the insurance, something else I like to tell you guys to do when it comes to protecting your modded accounts, right? So, when Rockstar hosts these double money and RPs, right? This is, this is a mistake that you guys did. Most of you guys are constantly doing these glitches. You're doing these glitches back to back. What's up, Big Ton? You're doing these glitches back to back, and you're not understanding that Rockstar can see your transaction. They can see how much money that you're making because, let me show you guys. If you go, go to your maze bank, let me show you this. If you go to your maze bank, man, let's see. Where's maze bank? Money and service. Let's go to maze bank. Let's go down here. Maze bank. Let's get in here. Let's get to transaction log. Rockstar can see all this stuff. They can see what you purchase, what you purchase, how much money you acquired in under seconds or minutes. They can see all this stuff, man. And then your your accounts are also linked to your Rockstar, your um Rockstar uh, uh, social club. So, you know, if you're gonna be doing stuff like this, you need to unlink your social club, man. That's another thing that you guys need to do. You need to unlink your social club. Very important to do that. Like, if you're gonna be doing things like this, you don't need to be in a crew. You don't need to be in a crew. Like, it's little techniques that you can do that can help you and stop you from getting money wiped or banned, right? So you don't need to be in a crew if you're going to be doing things like this. Unlink your social club. You don't need to have that stuff linked. Because that's basically like a GPS tracker of your account, right? They still can see your stuff no matter what, right? They still can see it no matter what, no matter what you do. Um, oh, this dude died there. Huh. Let me land over here really quickly. All right, so these things, man, they're, they're gonna keep happening, man. You gotta be careful when you're trying to set stuff up for yourself and your character, and which is why everybody's like, oh, I need money, I need money. If you need money and you're gonna blend it right, you gotta blend it correctly, man. And most people are not blending anything correctly. They're just doing the glitch back to back, back to back, back to back, right? You don't do glitches back to back like that because that causes problems. Are they inside the dam? Yeah, they are inside the dam can't do stuff back to back like that man you can't you cannot so what that means if you're gonna do glitches like that that's gonna get you money every two minutes like two million dollars every two minutes what you need to do is go play a mission after that play a couple missions for like 20 minutes use a double money and rp feature that's in game that's gonna give you money so therefore you can argue the fact that hey you guys took my money and i've been playing all your double money and rp you know that's what you need to do so you do the glitch do the glitch for like two minutes or three minutes right and then go jump into some double money and rp missions for like an hour right you do that you do that for like an hour bro and it's gonna help you it's gonna help you in a long run trust me doing that is beneficial for you hold on guys she's about to die here all right so we got this bag let me heal up Let's heal up. Where's my snacks? I gotta get some snacks here. I should've just pointed my gun. So, you guys gotta remember that, man. You got to play missions, man. When Rockstar gives you double money and RP, do not sit there for hours or an entire day doing a glitch like that. Because doing a glitch like that, man, is only gonna hurt you. You're the one who's gonna get banned. You're the one that's going to get money wiped, and your legitimate money is going to get taken as well. You don't want that to happen. You don't want that to happen, bro. So, I bought 200 million. Yeah, so, exactly. That's another thing to do. Most of you guys just stacked up the money with the glitch, and didn't think about the consequences. You just was like, oh, getting the money, getting the money, getting the money over and over and over, doing the glitch over and over. And you don't want that, bro. You don't want that. You have to take a break from these things. Who does glitch and not expect to get banned? A lot of people do these glitches and expect not to get banned because, you know, people watch these videos and think, oh, oh there's a money glitch, I'm not going to get banned. Because the content creator that's showing you the video is really not telling you, do it at your own risk. Which is why I don't post glitch videos because I don't want anybody to be like, oh, you got me banned, you got me banned. But you got to fail to understand, like, you do these things at your own risk. Like, you got to read the fine print, man. And the fine print is basically like, look, if you're going to do this glitch, chances are you're going to get banned. And if you get banned, it's not my fault. It's your fault. It's on you. 
And I don't like seeing people in the community losing their accounts like that, especially the accounts that they've ranked up, that they worked their asses off to get. And I know everything's, everything in this game is like expensive as hell. All that is a waste of time. Just buy a modded account for 400. <laughs> well, you can't find a modded account. I'm going to tell you that now. You can't find a modded account. You can't. It's so hard to find a modded account in these days, man. It's so hard to find a legitimate person that actually sells modded account that won't take the modded account from you. And then, on top of that, you buy a modded account at your own risk. Remember that. You buy a modded account at your own risk. What's up, Nicholas? So, be sure to smash that like button if you guys haven't already, bro. We got like 60 people in here, man. 64 people in here smash that like button. I'm here to help you guys and answer your questions. Yeah, you buy accounts at your own risk, man. You buy modded accounts at your own risk. You know. Chances are you might sit here and most of these modded accounts are going for like a hundred, two hundred dollars. You're not gonna find a sixty dollar modded account. You're not gonna find a forty dollar modded account. And if anybody tells you that they're selling modded accounts for forty five to twenty five, you're going to get scammed. You're going to get scammed. That's gonna happen to you. I'm just throwing that out there too. For those of you guys like, oh yeah, I just buy another modded account. No. When you do glitches like this, man. You never do glitches like this on your main account. You never. No. It's a risk. Especially if it's your modded account that got money wiped before. You don't want to take that chance because chances are if you got money wiped before in the past, you might end up getting banned this time around. And if you get banned, you only can be mad at yourself because now you just lost that. What's up, Yama? You just lost your modded account. You just lost the money from the glitches that you did. You didn't protect yourself with ban insurance. You didn't take the proper steps to secure your account. And now you're screwed up with no account. Now you're starting GTA all over again on another account. And you started from scratch. Starting from scratch. What's up, Drift? So, anybody that has done that glitch, bro. If you haven't got online, get online. There's nothing you can do to stop it. If the wipes are rolling out, there's nothing you can do to stop the wipe. The money wipe. There's nothing that you can do but for future... For future reference, if you guys do money glitches, buy seven garages only and put the most expensive car in that garage. Fill it up. Fill it up so you can sell it at a later date. Number two. Number two. This is number two. Listen to me. If you're doing a money glitch, you need to do it one or two times, at least once or twice, right? One or two times. And then go do double money and RP for an hour. Get out of free mode. You guys are spending your time doing this money glitch and then going to fight. Doing the money glitch and going to fight. You gotta you gotta remember you're spending millions of dollars in under ten to ten to what? Ten minutes, ten to fifteen minutes. Because guess what? You're using explosives the entire time. So you're buying ammo constantly back to back. You're mostly buying explosives. Let's be real. Not not a lot of people shoot in this game. You're buying you're buying explosive ammo, you're buying RPGs, grenades, and then some bullets, an MG bullet. That stuff costs. And if you're not playing the game how it's meant to be played, Rockstar can see that. Okay, this person just spent a million in under five seconds. Or this person just gained a million in under a minute. How? What's going on? Okay, videos all check YouTube. Rockstar watch YouTube, just to let you guys know that. They got people that do this stuff. Trust me. They got people that monitor this stuff, and they're going out. There's also, if you guys didn't know, I'm going to tell you something that a lot of you don't know. A lot of you new GTA heads, man. There's devs in your lobbies, bro. There's Rockstar devs in your lobby. There's always one in the lobby that's watching the server. There's watching the server. There's always one. Just to let you guys know that if you didn't know. There's a lot of people that don't blend their money, man. You won't know how a dev look. You won't know. Most of the time, they're just sitting in their their house, bro. You can't tell. You can't tell. They're just sitting in their garage. If there's somebody in their house for too long, and they never came out, you need to leave the server. You need to leave the server. When you're doing glitches like this, especially in open servers, most of the people did in open servers, you need to get out. You need to be switching your lobbies, man. You don't need to be in a server like that. Even if you're an invite only, you need to switch your lobby. A developer. They're like Rockstar. Alright, so there's like different branches of people that 
protect this game and then you also have the people that love GTA so much that they're like the GTA police of GTA so it's weird man it's crazy there's a lot of people that protect GTA in that way even if it's just a casual individual oh this person's doing a glitch I'm gonna report it they'll sit there and spectate you that's something else that you guys need to know make sure you turn your spectating option off turn your spectating option off spectating does it doesn't need to be on it doesn't need to be on at all you gotta turn that off man if you're gonna be doing glitches spectating feature it needs to be turned off you can do it from your settings you gotta turn it off man alright so let's get into the next one right I'm gonna keep preaching this to you guys because it's very important for in, for in the future man play the damn game don't be in a rush to do these glitches man they look cool they give you fast money but if you're not gonna do the proper steps and I'm telling you none of the stuff that even the stuff that I'm telling you you still can possibly get banned but you just gotta be real careful how do you run so fast fast run <laughs> so yeah so ban insurance is very important and people don't know this stuff modern like newer the newer generation on GTA do not know these things they see videos and they just get amped up they go do them and they don't know the, how to take the proper steps man like I'm here to tell you that like when I played GTA every day this was me when a glitch came out and I know I haven't been around as much because I got bored of the game but when I saw that glitch when I saw it I watched the video and I was like people are gonna get banned something that you guys gotta remember anything anything that's not good for business will get patched immediately money glitches is not good for business when it comes to Rockstar God mode has been in the game since the start of GTA since the creation of GTA has been God mode God mode will forever outlast a money glitch it will outlive a money glitch just to let you know the minute a god mode glitch becomes a money glitch then it'll get patched other than that god mode will forever outlive any money glitch in this game the money glitch got patched but guess what god mode still didn't get patched right it never will it never will they want you to buy shark cards blend before you spend exactly you have to blend before you spend even if you spend buy a few items wait wait an hour wait an hour then buy something else don't just buy everything back to back don't bulk buy never bulk buy in GTA if you got millions of dollars never bulk buy you gotta be reasonable Rockstar knows things are expensive in GTA they know that it's in place like that they know that the yacht is like 8 million nearly 10 million you know people be buying gold and planes that they never use it's also like another 10 million the, the freaking CEO office like is like what six to seven million you know all that stuff is expensive so you gotta be realistic about what you buy don't buy a CEO office and then go buy a yacht afterwards no 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 go play a couple of missions or wait the next day to go buy that yacht because you gotta make your money you gotta make your money and making your money is double money in RP do the glitch double money in RP afterwards for an hour then do the glitch again double money in RP after that for an hour and you also got to remember when I saw this I'm like okay you got to own a CEO office to do this glitch right think about that you got to own a CEO office so you're purchasing a CEO office you're downgrading that CEO office for a cheaper garage and then you're downgrading that cheaper garage for another cheaper garage so every time you did that glitch you had to rebuy the CEO office to do it you're spending money to make money and then you're spending a lot of money to make more money think about that you're spending at least what five six mil for a CEO office and then doing a glitch then downgrade and getting two mil back yeah you're getting your money back but at the same time you're constantly rebuying an office that's expensive as hell you guys gotta think about that man and I'm not I'm not mad at you don't think that I'm coming down on you guys you gotta think about that what's up panda I still remember when Rockstar baited people to do money glitch like two years ago just to wipe their accounts shortly after. Exactly. I found a safer way, but would not recommend. There's always a safer way to do these things, but 
don't don't do it man because you do these things at your own risk I had someone from modded modded account about four hundred dollars what that person would got deleted and banned admit immediately after saying something like that people do sell accounts like that too which is crazy that's why they want us to buy shark cards exactly they want you to buy shark cards they put if you need money they got shark cards right there for you to buy that's what they want you to do they want the community to buy shark cards because that's their business that's how rockstar continues to make their money for gta which is why gta 6 is not here because people are buying shark cards people are still buying gta 5 think about that People are still buying this game today. 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 And you get GTA 5 free for the PS5. They're giving it to you for free now. You bought GTA 5 on the PS3 or the, regular, the Xbox 360. And then you upgrade it to the new Xbox, right? And the new P PS4, right? Next gen. You upgrade it to next gen. And then you bought GTA 5 again. Think about that. You bought GTA 5 two times in the past eight years. You bought GTA two times. Not only buying GTA two times, think about all the modded accounts that you guys have bought in the process of that. That's a lot. That's a lot. That is a lot, bro. Now, is there a way to do story missions in the division on your own? Um, yeah. Yeah, you can do them on your own, bro. Just, just go up to them and play them. You just play them on your own. You don't have to invite anybody. You just do it by yourself. Just go up to the mission. Alright, I left my freaking, uh... I probably don't need, it. need to get up here and get it. Alright, let's see. Okay. Alright. So I'm here to... I still have my modded account. Yeah, of course. Most of you guys will and most of you guys won't, man. But you got to be careful with this stuff, man. You got to be careful. I'm trying to read everybody's comments. People do frozen money. Some people do got their accounts frozen. KD's frozen and money frozen. Let's see. If you do stuff like... Which you can't get caught. It's undetectable. Because it just looks like you played the job. Exactly. 2004 Terminator. Exactly. When you do things, the glitches that, that are in a mission, it looks like you're playing the game. Don't do free mode glitches. Free mode money glitches, you do it at your own risk. But he made a good point. That job right there, it looks like you're playing the game. It looks like you're playing the game, but still be careful, but it looks like you're playing the game. If you're in free mode all day doing something back to back and earning money, you're not getting any RP. That's another thing. You're doing a glitch that's not giving you RP. You're not getting RP, but you're getting money. That's questionable. That's very questionable, guys. What's up, Expose? Only have two mil? <laughs> you gotta do things that's gonna give you RP, which is why I tell you guys to play missions. Double money and RP is there. Or you do the, you do the mission that gives you money. Right? You do those things. Anything that's giving you RP, it looks like you're playing the game. You're playing the game how it's meant to be played. That's what it looks like. But if you're sitting into a lobby all day, and you don't have that RP logo next to your name or those points next to your name then that's gonna be a problem it's gonna be a problem I just don't have a social club which is one of the ways they catch you. exactly that's why I said earlier do not link your account to social club guys you do not need to be in a crew your friends oh hey or you want to join some tryhard crew don't join a crew if you're a tryhard don't be in a crew if you're a glitcher don't be in a crew because the things that tryhards and glitchers have in common is that they, everybody does glitches. Think about that. You don't need to be in a crew if you're doing these things. Get out of the crew. You're gonna get caught. You might be like, oh, asking your friend, hey, did you get banned? No, I didn't get banned. Did your account get wiped? No, I didn't get wiped. Anybody's in a crew and doing glitches, you're gonna get caught first. And anybody that got in trouble in the past from doing glitches, your account, your account is marked. Your account is marked already. So they're going to go through that list. They're going to go through that list of all those marked accounts that got caught in the past from doing glitches. You got a flag on your account. I want to let you guys know that. You got a flag on your account. What's up, crazy? What's up, BH? How's it going? When I done the glitch, I was getting RP. You got to get RP, man. 
you gotta get RP. I'm not talking about the 200 or the 2000 good behavior RP just from standing there not doing anything wrong in GTA. Man, I'm not talking about the good behavior money, bro. I'm talking about actually playing the freaking game. Been money wiped twice. Wow, got swiped twice. Did you buy everything that you needed to buy, Catherine? Let's see. You can get away with frozen money and card dupes. You gotta be careful with card dupes. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with card dupes, bro. There's a cheating system that detects, you know, selling dupes. It doesn't really happen all the time, but you gotta be careful when doing that. Just to throw that out there, you gotta be careful. Like Crook would tell you, you gotta be careful with that. GTA took my money once. Exactly. They did. Let me tell you, I'm gonna remind you guys, back in like DNS times, right? DNS was like a modded code that you put into your router, right? It was like a DNS code. You put it into your, your modem and you, know, you put it on your game, right? You go on your DNS codes and you just put this code in, right? So you put that code in, which gave your major account modded, like temporarily modded. It was like half modded, right? You was able to get billions of dollars in under seconds and then your character was in God mode, right? So it was like that. Whenever you robbed a store or hit a civilian, not because killed a civilian, instead of them dropping 10 to 15 bucks or robbing a gas station and only getting like a thousand bucks, you got like millions. You got millions of dollars from just doing that, right? So, around that time, Rockstar wiped the entire world, the entire community, the GTA world, they wiped everybody. And they left everybody with 500k. 500k. Think about that. How much did they leave you with now, Catherine? When they took your money a couple of days yesterday, how much did they leave you with? 30 dupes are detectable. Clean dupes have their own unique ID. Well, oh, own unique. I'll just say, just say, okay. All right, so it happens, man. Like I said, 30 dupes, dupes, you still gotta be careful, bro. It really doesn't matter. Don't think that you're not gonna get caught. Don't. Get in the mindset of, yeah, something can go wrong. Don't ever feel like you're not going to get caught, bro. Because you're going to get caught. You're going to get caught. No matter how much you say you're not going to get caught, you're going to get caught. Even if it's a clean dupe, you got to be careful. Get billions of dollars, and then those people would share cash with everyone else in the lobby. Yeah, so everyone was rich. Exactly. Even if you didn't do the glitch, you still got money wiped, which was crazy, right? Something that... You got wiped. Your legitimate money got wiped because somebody else tarnished your account by giving you money. Think about that. So people got wiped that didn't even do the glitch, didn't even do the DNS glitch, right? They didn't even do it, and they got wiped because they was going after those billion-dollar bounties, bro. Billion-dollar bounties were fun. They were fun as hell. Been doing this six years. We all have. I'm about to go GTA real quick and check. Yeah, go ahead and check. Like, be careful, man. Like, if your account's safe, if your account is safe and you get online and nothing happened, just take out the insurance. Just take out the insurance, man. Just start day by day. Just start filling up garages with cars, man. That's all you do. 1.5 mil. Nice. Still have 45 mil. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So just, just be careful, man. You guys have to be careful about that, man. I just like to let people know what to do and how to stay safe on this game. When you get no Red Dead again, Badger, probably tomorrow. After this, I'm going to be doing Apex since Apex had an update. But I had to get on here and tell you guys I have 12 mil. I still have 400 mil. Nice, nice, nice. Just be careful, man. Blend your money. Blending your money is the most important thing on this game. You have to. I remember they patched back in 2017 yeah right exactly I'm doing stay safe be doing exactly man like you gotta get RP man when you guys do these glitches take look when you do these glitches man don't just sit there and do nothing but the glitch do play the game how it was meant to be played that's all I'm asking you guys man because you're only gonna hurt yourself in the long run I still have my money, but remember to blend. Yes, exactly. Even if you still have your millions or billions of dollars, man, blend your money. Rockstar is hosting double money and RP in a game right now. They're hosting it. 700 mil and frozen money, deluxe holes, but I rarely sell them. 
so it looks legit. Exactly. Exactly. Even if you got the money. You still got your 8 bill? Nice. Even if you got the money. Even if you have the money. Even if you have it. Still blend it. When you when you turn on your GTA, when you get on GTA, it gives you that option to like hit triangle to go to this like adversary mode, which double money and RP, right? Go there. It's only probably like four to five missions, right? Even if you don't win, you're only doing it to get the double money. Even if you don't win, you're only doing it to get the double money. And then you can get out of there and then go back to doing the glitch or go back to playing the game, right? Yeah, Junior, you'll definitely be able to join, bro. Yeah. 869 mil. Put the those on both characters. Nice. That's the way to do it. That's something else I want to talk about, too. Most of you guys... That's a good point. Something else I want to also bring up. Most of you guys will do these glitches on one character. But you got to remember, both of your characters share bank accounts. Both of your characters share bank accounts, guys. They share bank accounts. I'm going to say that again. Most of you guys don't know. I feel like you should, but your characters share bank accounts. So if you fill deluxos on your primary character, do it on your second character. If you don't have a second character, create a second character. Your second character is like insurance. It's another set of insurance, right? Because you'll never play on your second character. You never will. But if you do, you do. Don't let them touch safe, wizard. <laughs> if you do, you do. But... Your second character is storage insurance. It's like a storage insurance policy. So you'll buy nothing but garages on that character. Right? And you'll just do the exact same thing you did on your primary. Fill the garages up with the most expensive car in the game. That's all you'll do. That's all you do. Full garage on both characters. Exactly. 2004. That's what. That's what's most important the boys raid what's up god how's it going all right i'm trying to read everybody's comments too i'll do the casino of all the english let's see is that okay or can i get banned it looks like you're playing the game when you're doing stuff that looks like you glitches that look like you're playing the game and you're getting rp for it then you're safe and that's within a mission but it's still a possibility just to throw that out there but they're not going to look at you because they look at it as you're playing the game. You're playing the game. That's how they look at it. How do you get reset? From doing glitches. That's how you get reset. Yeah. It looks like, as long as it looks like you're playing the game, you're somewhat safe. And there's no need to panic. But if you're worried, just make sure you take out insurance on your account. Don't just sit there with all that money in your account and not invest in it by buying things in a game that's going to benefit you later on just in case you get banned or get your account white i still have my 37 mil nice imagine doing glitches just <laughs> that's rob store <laughs> people do people do glitches like look people do glitches because everything in this game is expensive and people want to have things because you want to buy the casino you want to buy the yacht you want to buy the ceo office you want to buy the smaller jobs to resource your your goods you want to do all these things but you can't because you don't have the money to do to do it to enjoy gta you need money to enjoy this game you need the money you need the money to enjoy this game and it sucks that it's like that but that's the god honest truth man when it comes to this game everything's so expensive it's no longer about grand theft auto anymore man it's about enjoying the game every update that comes out you see all the new vehicles you see the jobs you don't care about those jobs if it, the jobs are repetitive they're not gonna pay you rockstar give you devil money play the devil money you'll play that and then you'll never touch that again think about it most people still play the freaking heist pay the first heist most people still play the second heist but if there's easy methods for you to make money then people will jump on that train really quickly and forget that jumping on that train will get you banned that's the problem Was the icing on the cake? I still have my 297 million. Nice. And I'm <laughs> and I'm not buying a shark card either. Just to shark cards are a ripoff. 
you spend a hundred dollars real life to get eight mil like somebody made a good point like last week they said instead of it being eight mil it should have been a hundred mil and i agree with that if you're going to spend a hundred dollars on shark cards like at least give me a hundred mil don't give me eight mil because eight mil can't buy you anything in this game eight mil can't buy you nothing in this game like you only get like one thing and that's it So make sure you guys stay safe out there, man. I'm trying to answer everybody's questions. Anybody got questions they want to ask me, go for it, man. Like, I'm only ten telling you guys trades of the tricks, man. The secrets, the trade secrets, man. I'm telling you guys what to do to try to stay safe. What's up, Mike? How's it going? Still can't find this freaking vehicle. I have 102 mil. What's up? How's it going, Mike? And there's the van. We got it to pop up, ladies and gentlemen. We finally got it to pop up. Oh, crap. I didn't shoot the other guy. I didn't shoot the other guy. I should have shot the driver. <laughs> I should have. What's up, Serene? How's it going? I should have shot the driver, man. And now he's not going to stop. That was my fault there, not shooting the driver. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go grab that because we needed that. <laughs> we actually needed that. I logged on already and I was good. So I still can get wiped. There's still a possibility, man. There's still a possibility that you guys can get wiped. So don't think that the wipe is going to be one day. Never think that the wipe is going to be one day. Wipe A wipe can happen one week and then the following week. Think about it. Rockstar will start wiping people slowly. So make sure you guys take the money out that you need. Buy everything that you need so you can sell it at a later date. Yeah, the wipes can continue to next week. Just because you didn't get hit this day or the next day, it still can happen at a later date. Just to let you guys know that if you didn't know. And I got my barcode reset. Damn, bro. I'm sorry to hear that, man. This is why you let the test dummies do the glitches first. <laughs> you know, don't be a test dummy. You know, you can't be a test dummy out there. Like I said, people just got so excited. They got so excited about, oh, there's a new money glitch because it hasn't been an easy money glitch in a long time. And anything that's easy to do, you're going to get caught. You're going to get caught. There's, there were so many videos that I saw. I'm like, wow, the glitch hasn't even been out that long, bro. I'm scrolling down money glitch. It's like videos like two to three minute videos five minute ten minute videos of the same exact money glitch like it was like i in one day like i'm seeing like over like a thousand videos of the same glitch you know and people were like jumping on it people were jumping on it man and like i said most of these guys didn't even get caught they didn't even get in trouble most of these guys probably won't get in trouble because most of these guys probably got similar accounts like mine where they can't get caught not necessarily saying that it's not possible, but it's less. It's less, man. These dudes will find these glitches. Think about it. Most of these dudes would do this glitch. I'm going to tell you something, man. When you guys see YouTubers showing you the glitch, they're not doing this glitch back to back. I'm going to tell you that now. Most of these guys got money already. Most of these guys have money already. You see me? Money already. So they'll do this glitch once, right? And showcase it to you so they can get the view. That's how that works. Do the glitch once, showcase it to you, so they can get the money and the revenue later on on YouTube. Think about that. You're the one who's doing the glitch back to back. You're doing the glitch back to back, over and over. You're, you're, you're like sweating to a point where you haven't even turned off your console. You left your whole game on so you can continue doing the glitch. Think about that. Yeah, you should definitely keep the selling dupes and making money. Like, <laughs> let's be honest. Mm, not necessarily. Not if you not if you um buy them smart. 
I'm not telling you to go and buy 10 Deluxos back to back. That's not the way to do it. You don't buy 10 Deluxos back to back. You buy two and then, you know, you go play the game and then you come back and buy it again. Everything you do, look, when it comes to this stuff, man, everything that you do, you have to play the game. When I say don't do the glitch back to back, when you go and buy Deluxos, you don't buy Deluxos, 10 Deluxos back to back or 20 Deluxos back to back. No, you don't do that. Exactly, Drift. You do money glitches that are safe. That are a lot safer than especially the one that just came out. And you don't buy deluxe 10, 20 deluxos back to back. You don't. You don't. You buy two, three, go play the game, go play a couple of missions, play some double money in RP, come back an hour or two hours later, buy two, three more. Rinse and repeat. Like you gotta you gotta do it smart, man. You gotta do it smart where it looks like okay, he just made this amount of money from this mission, so it's it's reasonable that he, he was able to afford a deluxo go play a heist if you don't want to sit there in other missions just go play a heist get get three other friends together you guys play the heist and then boom go do the glitch after that simple <laughs> simple play the heist go do the glitch after that you know it looks like you're playing a game even if you're not making a lot of money it looks like you're playing the game that's the most important thing play the game if you're gonna do glitches like this play the game some people are already on the watch list and still did the glitch. Like, why exactly? Some people accounts are already flagged and they still did the glitch. Why would you risk that? You're already flagged. You probably got two flags on your account and don't even know it. And you're risking it for everything. Is Godmo patched? No, Godmo's not patched. <laughs> Godmo, Godmo will never be patched, bro. It never will. And if it does get patched, best believe it's going to be another one the next day. In the next patch. Godmo is never truly patched. I still have about 100 cars. From the car glitch with the script club. Nice. What's up, screen? Let's see. I was gonna do the glitch, but said no. Exactly. Say no. Some 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 of these glitches that look good aren't good, bro. If they look too good to be true and there's their own they're so easy. They're so easy to do. Any glitch that's easy to do will get you white. <laughs> Bro, you want to do a glitch that's going to take you, like, at least you got to swap the lobby, turn off your <laughs> turn off your, your router, spawn into a closed friend session, invite 12 friends. If it's something like that, do it like that. But if it's something just the flip of the switch, no, it's going to be a problem. Can you mod? I used to mod, bro. I don't mod anymore. If I did, man, I probably still would have been modding, and you guys can't transfer accounts anyways. Got to go, Badger. All right, Junior. I'll see you tomorrow, bro, on Red Dead. Let's go find this other whip. We got to find this other vehicle, too, man. All right. What's up, Benzo? I don't play GTA with anybody, bro. I'll play any other game with you, but not GTA. Any other game. If you play Fortnite, Apex, uh, Call of Duty, Dead by Daylight, you know, you can look in the list and you'll see the game of Fall Guys. You can see the games that I feature on the channel. Um, Division, Battlefield, Red Dead. Uh, yeah, those are about the only games that you can play <laughs> together like that. So if any of the games, any other games, I'll play with people. But GTA is one game that I have to play alone. It's always been like that for me. And uh, anybody that got wiped out there, Red Dead and De Dead by Daylight, yeah, definitely add me, man. Add me, like we can definitely play that. Let me put my PS in there for you. All right, they took away my rusty ruiner. Yeah, they took away my rusty ruiner too. Did you do the new glitch? No, I did not do the new glitch. I just put the PS in right there, guys. It's PS4. Let's see. I'm gonna be screaming Apex after this, man. So I love to see all 73 of you guys there when I'm playing Apex, man. I'm not goaded in Apex, but I'm trying. I'm learning Apex. Apex wasn't my primary game. We're trying to get this last vehicle too for this freaking alien outfit, this freaking prop hunt, man. What's up, cat? How's it going? My PSN right there, buddy. It's right above you. Let's see. All right. Anybody got any questions that they want to ask me? Anything that you probably missed early on in the broadcast? 
Welcome back. If you miss anything early in the broadcast and you got something that you want to ask me, then go for it. Any questions you guys want to ask about how to protect your account, how to save it. And if you already got wiped, there's nothing you can do about it. I'm telling you right now, there's nothing you can do about it if you already got wiped. Just check my account. Still have my modded money. And if you guys, yeah, if you still got your modded money and you just checked and you still got it, make sure you take the proper steps to stay safe. I'm a big fan. Been watching for over two years. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. What's up, Ethan? No, the new glitch is definitely not worth it, man. It's patched now, but it wasn't worth it. It was not worth it, bro. Appreciate that. Thank you. How do I stop my account from being wiped? You can't. You can't stop it from being wiped. If it's going to get wiped, it's going to get wiped. But what you can do is take out the proper insurance on your account so it doesn't, so you don't lose all of your money. So what that means is that you'll buy, you'll have one primary garage for your main cars that you use, your main vehicles and stuff. And then all seven other garages, you'll buy seven garages only, right? seven garages only and what you'll do with that what you'll do is you'll put the most expensive car in that garage and if you want to buy let's say eclipse towers or the most expensive apartment in the game right which is eclipse towers what you would do with that you would even buy that this is more insurance this is another trick too the same thing that you guys were doing has already is always been in game that was a way to downgrade apartments to get your money back that's always been in game that's something else that they didn't tell you that glitch has always been in game just people didn't do it but it's always been there so you can buy the most expensive car in the game with a 10 car garage and then at a later date when you sell all those car all, all those cars and you want to downgrade your apartment you'll get the money back from down half of that money back from downgrading that apartment to a cheaper one you'll do that you'll do that right and then once you once you fill all those garages up with cars right you get on your secondary character and you do the exact same thing that way, you invested your money into apartments and cars. They can't take anything that you already bought. Rockstar can't take that. The only way you can lose those things is if your account gets deleted. That's the only way you'll lose those items. If your accounts get deleted, then you'll lose all those. But they can't touch anything that you bought. They're not going to take the 100 vehicles that you bought. They're not going to take those. They can't take those, but they'll touch your account. And your characters share accounts it's a joint account between both of your characters so whatever car insurance that you invested into your primary character do the exact same thing on your secondary character that way when you sell everything you get all most of your money back from your first character in your second that's how you do that that's how you stay safe and when rockstar add these double money events in the game start playing them a lot more play them get legitimate rp don't get free mode rp what I mean by free mode RP, free mode RP is that you get from killing another player. Don't just focus on that particular RP. If there's like a free mode event that's going on in the lobby where it's going to like, you know, stay in your ground and stuff like that, participate in that. If you don't like doing missions, do every free mode event and get that RP. What's up, Tay? Get that because you need that RP. Rockstar needs to see that you're earning money from playing the game. Okay, Benzo, when I get an account, I'll check it. They need to see that you're earning money from playing the game. Earning money from playing the game is a way to stay safe. Yes, do CO. Do CO, source, source your, all your under, like, smaller business with the cocaine, the weed form. If you got all that stuff, do that, bro. Source all that stuff. We're going to try to get this car. Let's see, let's go here really quickly. Click on that. Go here. Invite only. I'm trying to get this freaking last car. So, you know, CEO work, um, MC work, do all that stuff. Even if it's for the casino. If the lady called you for the casino, do it. If Simeon tells you he needs a car delivered or whatever, he got a job for you, do it. Just do it. It's not going to take you that long. If somebody sends you an invite to say, oh, yeah, I need help delivering this product, do it. Because that's going to give you good behavior money. And it's also going to get, get you extra money. And if also, here's another tip, man. If you're on the verge of going to bad sport and you don't want to, tell your friends to commend you. 
<laughs> Tell them to commend your account. Commend your account. Commend it. Even if you're doing the glitch, some glitches, tell them to commend your account. Commend. What's up, Agani? <laughs> Alright. We spawned over here. We're going to see if this, uh, this vehicle spawns in. I've been trying to get it to spawn in, man. Sometimes it spawns in and sometimes it doesn't. It's just crazy. Trying to get this to spawn in is like, man. But that, like I said, man, those are everything that you guys need to know, man. And I just want to inform everybody when it came to that, bro. It's the apartment glitch, bro. It's the apartment glitch that's getting everyone. Not getting you banned, but mostly getting you money wiped. But a ban could possibly happen, just to let you know. It can possibly happen. That's all it is. It was the apartment glitch with the CEO office that everybody was doing. I'm in a crew. Get out of the crew. If you're doing glitches like this, get out of the crew. Unlink your social club, man. You don't need to be in a crew if you're going to be doing glitches. Don't be in a crew. Being in a crew is the worst thing ever. Did they money wipe already? Some people got hit and some people didn't. But they're still going to be going on. So don't think that it won't happen. But if it hasn't happened to you yet, get on your account, play the game, get the, do the double money in RP, and invest in the cars and put them in your garage. Every hour or however long you play GTA, buy deluxos or or the most expensive car in the game and just fill it up that's what you want to do I'm trying to get this freaking car to spawn in is the glitch patch yes it's patch they patch that quick as quick as hell man let's see all right Halloween face paint out yet? <laughs> That'll be October, man. October 1st, I'll start informing everybody what's what, what's up with that when it comes to that time. Just to let you guys know. I stayed below 200 mil to stay off the radar. Even if you did the glitch, um, stand up below 200 mil, which is good. You definitely want to try to stay below the radar, but make sure you invest into something. Yeah, he is making sense. Just cover your tail. Be smarter. Exactly. That's all. Just cover yourself, man. Protect yourself when you're doing this stuff. I see so many people that don't take the proper steps to protect their accounts. And they just go off and do this glitch. Like, I've seen... I have been in lobbies. I have seen so many people do these glitches, man. Day after day. Day after day, day after day, day after day. They don't stop. They're trying to see how much money they can get. Like, people were doing this glitch every day, every second, every hour, every minute, non-stop. Like, dudes were just standing at garages doing this glitch. Like, you will see, like, at least half the server in one spot doing this damn glitch. Like, nobody's fighting because everybody's trying to get money. I understand you need money to enjoy the game. I get it. I get it. I get it. Trust me. But, man, you got to be smarter when doing this stuff. It's very important. Badger, when is the next Fall Guys stream? Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. Because I'll be on Apex after this. What about the casino glitch, Badger? Every glitch, you got to be careful, man. Every glitch, you got to be careful. But if there's a glitch that's giving you money and RP, like that's helping you, like that looks like you're playing a the game, then, you know, do it. But do it at your own risk. I used to do the apartment glitch then. I started buying jets, but then got a warning and I've never done it again. <laughs> you got to be careful, man. Got to be careful because those jets are expensive. Those jets are expensive. There's a lot of stuff in this game that's really expensive. I'm trying to get this freaking car to spawn in, and it won't spawn in. Thoughts on the current God Mode glitch? People are abusing the hell of it. Um, honestly, bro, if you're... Put it like this. God mode glitch will always be in the game. I hate God mode glitch. We all do. God mode glitch has been in the game since 2013. People will forever abuse it because people are too busy focused on KDs and they don't want to die. Now, if you're using a God mode glitch to try to source your mission, like, look, there's certain ways to use a God mode glitch, right? You got trolls and then you got people that only want to do the God mode glitch just to complete their 
their missions, like their their free mode mission, their CEO missions, get to source their product. Like if you're doing it just to you know just to not get people from bothering you, you know you, you're minding your own business. You did the God mode glitch and you're minding your own business. If somebody come messing with you, then okay, kick their ass, kick their ass because that's their fault. They're coming to, they're coming to screw up your stuff, right? Kick their ass. Like that's the only way I see that a God mode glitch would be useful. But you got so many people in this game that would get in the God mode glitch and then go around and destroying the entire lobby. Like that's problematic. If you're using the glitch to to make money and to protect yourself by sourcing your product so you don't get your crap blown up because which happens a lot, then okay. But if you're doing it for the sole purpose of just to go in and try to improve your KD, then that's a problem, bro. If you need a God mode glitch to be good at a game that a five-year-old child can play, then this is not the game for you and you're not a competitive or a try hard as you think you are <laughs> you're not I hung up my try hard belt about two three years ago bro let's see DC, do you think modded accounts ruined the game as that's the reason Rockstar made everything expensive no I don't think they ruined the game I think modded accounts actually brought the game to life because you modded accounts were made not for money I'm gonna say that again. When modded accounts came out, it, modded accounts were made to give you exclusive items, unattainable items that you can't get by playing the game itself. Modded accounts were made for clothing. Modded accounts were made really for clothing, to be honest with you. Made for clothing, yeah, you had money on top of that. But then people started, okay, let's see how much I can push it. Okay, double rolls, the double combat rolls came a thing, right? Okay, uh, fast run became a thing, right? Okay, no recoil became a thing. Unlimited stacks, snacks, body armor, fireworks, all that stuff became a thing. And then people started, you know, okay, I can become a god with a modded account. I can just do whatever. But modded accounts were not designed to fight. They were designed to give you the rarest items in the game, modded vehicles and modded clothing. That's what modded accounts were for. People invested into modded accounts because they wanted outfits and unique items because they wanted to look different in GTA because everybody looked the same. That's why I got into modding. Like, literally. <laughs> why they patch Fast Run? It was so so harmless. Well, Fast Run is still in the game. It's still in the game. As you can see. Fast Run is still in the game. I have Fast Run. Some people still have it. Some people still have it. Some people don't. They didn't just patch fast run. What they patched was they patched the in-game mechanics that allowed you to get fast run in GT Online. You was able to get like double fast run. Like there was a glitch a while back that gave you double fast run and Rockstar patched that. Now combat rolls, they patched combat rolls because that was a problem. Having the ability to roll back to back, back to back with no delays, you was unstoppable. And you had to be killed by a player that had at least good aim or an RPG. Because you can roll non-stop in a running gun and just pop shot everybody, get landing nothing but headshots. So combat rolls were a pop were a problem, which is why they patched that. There's a workaround for that glitch. Of course there is, bro. There's always workarounds, bro. But don't do them. Let's see. All right, I'm trying to read everybody's comments. Anybody got questions? Let's see. Modern accounts keep people around longer. Yeah, they do. They actually do because you need money to enjoy the game. And in the, in the state of GTA, to play this game, you need money. Every update, most people are broke, which is why people resort to money glitches because they're broke. They want money so they can enjoy the DLC. Nobody wants to sit there the day of the update trying to grind missions to get money to enjoy the update. Like, yo, nobody wants that. It's not like you can steal the newest cars in the game, right? Which you should be allowed because this is Grand Theft Auto. You should be able to steal any car you want. You should be able to loot anything you want in this game. If you want to break into a house, you should be able to do that. There's certain little things that we should have had, little features that we should have had in this game that could have made GTA 100 times better. Home invasions. Can you imagine breaking into like a player's house and stealing their their stuff? Like for example, the CEO office, the CEO office right? Every CEO office has a safe right just imagine that you're able to break into somebody's CEO office and steal like 100k you know how fun that'd be you know you know how fun that'd be to be able to do that 
to break into somebody's house or or see your office to steal 100k or go to their yacht and steal their stuff or go to their here's here's another one instead of you blowing up their cargo or stealing their cargo when they're sourcing it they're trying to sell it just imagine just imagine if you was able to go to someone weed business or counterfeit business or or cocaine business and steal their product directly from their warehouse and go sell it just imagine you was able to do that and I'm not saying it was something that can happen all the time but it'll keep players on their toes don't do the glitch bro don't do it there's always workarounds to something don't do that glitch man you're gonna get screwed if you do it what's up silent GTA isn't like isn't like it used to be to be honest yeah it isn't figure out ways to get more <laughs> I had a question. I think I answered it, but if I created a new account and do the glitch for money and blend it and work if it gets wiped and they still lock in your PS4. <laughs> well, okay. Alright, so Queen, if you make a new character, that's a dummy account, right? That's a dummy account, right? For one, for one, you gotta rank that account up and you gotta actually play the game. Legitimate RP is the most safe thing in GTA. Illegitimate RP is bad. It's bad. But legit RP, you get a brand new account, you're ranking that account up to like level 15, 20, or to 50. You know, you're playing the game, so you're getting legitimate RP, so you're playing missions. You're playing more missions than you're doing glitches. And by the way, it's a brand new account, which means that you're not on Rockstar's radar. Your account, your account's never been flagged. It's a brand new account. And then you... You finally make up enough money to buy the CEO office, and then you start doing the glitch. You you would be a lot safer than somebody that's been playing this game for the last eight years. You'll be a lot more safer because your account's new. Now you still could get banned. You still could get your account wiped, just to let you know. But the only difference is you're playing the game how it's meant to be played. And I know that you're smart enough to say, okay, I did the glitch once. Let me go play some missions. Let me go play some more missions. And then let me buy reasonable stuff. Let me buy. When I say reasonable stuff, bro, I don't see so many people in this game do these, do these glitches and buy a gold jet. Why are you buying a gold jet that you're never going to fly? Why? Think about that. Why are you buying a gold jet? You're spending 10, 20 mil on a gold jet with no weapons, by the way. Well, you're going to fly. The, you're going to be the, the, the lobby's airport service? <laughs> like, what's up, Lewis? You gonna fly the lobby around <laughs> for flexibility? <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? That's a waste of money. A gold jet and a gold helicopter. That's a waste of money. Can you see my outfits? Uh, my outfits will be locked if I switch, bro, because I got this duffel bag on. They'll be switched. I got nothing but like D and glitch outfits on. I can't put on that one. But this is stuff that I made like a while ago, bro. This was a long time ago. Long time ago. This is like old stuff, bro. But this is what I got here. I haven't done like an outfit glitch in a long time, man. Mainly because Rockstar started deleting my stuff. So I had to do the DM glitch just to get something. This crap is ugly. I need to delete that. <laughs> but this is what I got here. I can't click on my first outfit. You know, I'll click on it. It's going to lock up if I do, though. They took some of my outfits, man. I was pissed. I miss your try-hard days. <laughs> the try-hard days, bro. <laughs> it's GTA is just not what it used to be. What about the P PS4 lock? If you get banned, a swipe. Um. If your account, if your account, if your, chances are, put it like this. When your PS4 gets locked, it gets, your PS4 gets banned, your IP is banned. Your IP is banned for that, for that console. So, you'll definitely have to buy, either buy a new console or swap it out. Your IP is actually banned, so you can't access GTA Online. That's the problem when you're, you're in your account. 
when that happens. They're banning your IP. <laughs> They're banning your IP so you can't get on on that particular account. Resetting it can and not work. It's, it's, it's a lot of stuff that you got to do. You got to buy some parts to... You basically got to rebuild your PlayStation. You got to rebuild it. And it's not worth it. It's not worth it, honestly. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So, it's... You know, they did a lot of that to PS3 players. Where they banned their, uh, banned their whole entire accounts. So, you can't have access on it. They're banning the IP of that console. Let's see, new glitch come. Oh, <laughs> that's the same one for Xbox. You get a new hard drive. I mean, like there are some videos out there that can show you exactly what to do. But honestly, I don't. Did your PS4 get banned? If you don't mind me asking. PS4 days when everybody used to talk shit after getting one kill on someone. <laughs> Alright, let me try to switch lobbies again and get this to pop in, man, because, like, this is just not happening. We'll swap here. What about the frozen money with Save Wizard? A lot of people use Save Wizard. Um, Save Wizard is not really a problem, but you still gotta be careful. Like, everything you do is do it at your own risk. Damn, T out here cursing. <laughs> Everything you got to be careful with, man. Even with Save Wizard and Frozen Money, like, you know. But it's, it's, like, it was a lot easier to, like, swap out everything on your PS3. It might be a little harder to do on the PS4. It's a little difficult. Are the Duffel Bag Outfits still glitch? Yes, they are still glitch. They're still glitch. Whenever you got on a duffel bag, you can't change your outfit or uh, go into any clothing store. So you'll have to basically kill yourself and get your parachute to spawn on you. And then you'll be able to swap your outfit out from there. What's up, Yusuf? How's it going? I know it sucks. It's, it sucks because it's so harmless. It's so harmless. I don't know why it's like that when it wasn't affecting anybody in the community. I never saw a duffel bag glitch pull out a freaking whole tank. And then made you invincible. But that's what happened. See, look. This is Double Money and RP right here, guys. Play it. It might be boring, but just play it. Record in 1080p. What a, what a PS4 Pro does, you can actually record in 1080 in the PS4 Pro. I think that you can actually, actually, you can actually stream in 1080p, actually. Take that back. You can, you can go live in 1080p. And this vehicle is just not happening, man. It's really not popping up. I don't know why it's not popping up. We might have to find this one another day. Be sure to smash that like button if you guys haven't already, man. Let's see. I know, but I don't want to get a new PS4. What if you're on a hotspot and get IP ban? <laughs> oh, man. You know, I really don't know about uh, if you're in a hotspot, man. Hotspots are a little different. They're a little different, man. Because uh, you can't really get booted offline when you're on a hotspot. Because <laughs> it's it's a lot harder to boot people offline when they're playing on hotspots. I had I had a couple friends that played on hotspots. And, um, yeah, they, could, they couldn't get booted offline or get banned. It was weird, man. It's weird how hotspots work. A lot of people moved to Modern Warfare. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people did. A lot of people did. Me, myself, I moved to different games too, man. I moved to other shooters. Like, that's why I said, that's your question. Like, my try old, you missed my old try hard days, man. It's, it's, it's a lot harder to, to, to fight in GTA because nobody really fights in GTA Online, man. You either, you're either fighting somebody in God Mode or you find somebody eating BST and in God Mode and off the radar or a ghost or you get an orbital cannon. Like, people don't really fight in this game, man. You either getting hit, also, you getting shot with the incendiary rounds. So you, even if they snipe you with a freaking incendiary there around, you're like gonna burn out. You can't even really eat easy way out. What's up, war? You know, you can't really do anything. Like, th the fighting in GTA is just unrealistic to a point where it's just not even fun anymore. You know? The minute you kill somebody once or twice, bro, 
they're killing themselves more than you killing them and then they're going ghost and spamming bst and trying to do everything in the world to get a kill on you it's like oh okay bro if we're fighting for three hours and i got five kills on you it's five one i'm up by five and you only got one kill and you've been killing yourself every single time then i don't want to fight you anymore like that's how fights go in gta bro nobody i'm not telling you how to play your game but like nobody fights really fights in this game anymore man so i just stepped away from it bro i got tired of it and i just moved on <laughs> i say i'm you know i'm gonna go play something else that's competitive like battlefield apex star wars modern warfare you know i'm gonna go over there and be angry <laughs> on those games instead of being angry on a game like this so <laughs> you know it's 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 actually boring man you guys know it you've been in those lobbies man what's up leo how's it going I did move to a lot of games. It's you have a lot more fun when you do. You know, you, you get booted. You know, it's like you can't really enjoy GTA Online in peace, man. The minute you kill somebody and you beating their ass and they invite their friends and you beat their friends' ass too, next thing you know, you're also booted offline. Like, oh, great! You gonna boot me offline because I kicked your ass? <laughs> and then you know, people like people really got it. They got a difference. Like, I don't know, man. They people are just different on GTA, man. They real different, bro. Like they take this, they take this to the heart. They take this to the heart, bro. Like and it's crazy, man. Like dudes are different, bro. Like it's freaking crazy. You sub, appreciate that, Leo. We're trying to find this last vehicle too. That one video, you were hella toxic. <laughs> I was only, <laughs> I was only toxic. I was only toxic because somebody was being toxic to me. They use X lag now. Bro, I don't fought so many X lag users in running gun, bro, which is why I stopped playing running gun. Like it was like it got to the point where like this. I didn't just like give up on GTA right away. I went through a lot of things that made me step away from this game as a PVP base. I it made me step away because everything that I went through, bro. Everything I went through, I had to step away. Like it's 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 freaking crazy. Hold on guys. I had to step away, man. I had to step away because it was just like free mode became unplayable, right? Free mode became unplayable. And then it's like from everything that's going on in free mode, bro, like everything that's going on is like, yo, what is this? Why is this happening? You know, you're fighting BST, you're fighting x lag you're fighting booters, you're fighting god motors, bro. You're fighting crybabies that sweat or try hard, man. You're fighting all these things at once, bro. And then most of the time, you're by yourself. It'd be probably just you and another buddy. And then you're fighting like two different damn clans. It's like, damn, they taking up the whole damn server and you whooping everybody ass. Now you got a tank, now you got a jet, now you got orbital cannons. It's like, yo, this is, what is this? What is this? You know, it's like all this crap that made GTA not what GTA was meant to be. It's freaking crazy, bro. So, I say, you know, I'm going to go play Run and Gun. I'm going to Run and Gun. I go to Run and Gun. Now I'm dealing with I'm dealing with the, the God Molders that want to come to Run and Gun in God Mode. Now you're dealing with the X-Laggers in in God Mode. You're dealing with the, oh, I'm going to jump out of the map and spam, spam bombs because I can't kill you, players. <laughs> you know, you're dealing with all these mechanics, and it's like, yo, what is this? Oh, you killed me three times, now I'm going to put on my bulletproof outfit, outfit, and then I'm going to hit you with an RPG or an explosive shotgun. Like, you're dealing with all these elements, bro. It's like, can I catch a break? Can I get into one good fight? One good fight. Then, then here's the kicker. Oh, 1v1 me free mode. You go to free mode, you 1v1 this dude. You 1v1 this dude, he's spamming invites to his buddy. His buddy spawns in a facility and orbital cannons you. What is this? What is this? So I said, you know what, bro? I'm done with GTA, man. I'm done with it. It was like, it was, it was no point anymore, man. <laughs> it was no point. Because... It's not it's a fun game to play, but it's not a competitive shooter. 
if you're getting on GTA to have a have a, the best KD in the universe and trying to be the biggest sweat in the world, no, bro. Sweats don't eat BST. Tryhards don't eat BST. Tryhards don't run in groups. It's odd. It's either them or Buddy. And chances are the Buddy that they got, they became friends with that Buddy because they fought before. That's how it works. Tryhards don't go into lobbies with eight different people and saying, oh, I want to take over the server. No, bro. You don't take over a server with eight people. You take over the server with you and a buddy or you by yourself. Like, that's how that works. And you don't eat BST. You might put on a bulletproof helmet, but you don't drop BST. You don't spam ghosts. You only do those things when people are doing it to you. And the minute people start doing it to you, right, they're doing these things to you, and then you do it to them, bro, they become the biggest crybabies. They become the biggest crybabies, bro. It's crazy. They don't, they don't eat BST the past for the past two days and the minute you eat it once oh why you gotta eat BST why you gotta go ghost oh you can only get kills and ghosts bro you've been in ghost the entire fight you and your cousin <laughs> it's freaking crazy you and your cousin has been ghost the entire time you're swapping CO but the minute I go ghost now you wanna cry because I was successful in ghost <laughs> like it's freaking crazy what's up Blocko did the glitch get patched, man? Be careful with the glitch, man. It somewhat got patched, but there's always workarounds for stuff, but be careful with it if you do it, bro. I love killing people with a <laughs> steam jet. Because them people are going to be <laughs> Oh, man. Get out of here, Black Queen. Yeah, I'm being passionate again. I'm being passionate. What's up, Jack? <laughs> What's up, George? Some people got money white, bro, and some people didn't. But be careful. You need to make sure you get um, account insurance because some people still can get white. Even if it didn't happen to you today, it can happen tomorrow. Just to let you know. And so on and so on. It can lead all the way up until next week. So, be careful. Be careful with that. No, I didn't. I didn't get it. Red. I'm good, bro. I'm trying to find this car right now. See my handsome face? I look like a pineapple, bro. Straight pineapple. Let's see. I talked to you even if they use BST. No modded accounts got wiped. Some got wiped because some modded accounts already had didn't have any money. So anybody that did the glitch got wiped. Some accounts do get wiped. Some modded accounts do get wiped, so be careful. But some people are greedy to the point where, okay, I'm gonna do this glitch even though I got money. I'm gonna do it. You get what I'm saying? Some people do that. GTA scratches me out. I killed them back. And I'm going against a crew. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> I know, right? You kill, you kill one crew member. Next thing you know, you're fighting the entire crew, all 60 members. <laughs> like it's freaking crazy. You know your mods in here? No, you can't really mod the PS4. It, the PS4 has been jailbroken, but uh, as far as when it comes to mods, no. Your GTA modded account was reset. How many times did you do glitch? Did you take out an insurance on your account? I made 600k from that glitch. And it got patched. So if you made your 600k, invest into that 600k. And when I mean invest, fill garages up with vehicles that you can sell at a later date on your first character and your second. But don't buy everything all at once. Also play the game. Start playing missions. The mods in the stream? Well, the way he said it, so he didn't make it sound like that. You know? Do I know my mods in here? Yeah, I know my mods in here. I was reading something else, too. Somebody asked something about mods. Hold on. I'm just reading too many things at once that I'm skipping stuff. Let's see. People also try to take your account. Yes. Selling modded Minecraft accounts for 40. <laughs> Anybody that's a mod in my channel has been on this channel for some time, so... Uh, which is why they got mods. I remember when there used to be all kinds of uh, rip videos from GTA on YouTube. I know, right? You can get on you can get on YouTube without seeing one rip video. Freaking crazy. I have one account for seven hundred. <laughs> A 
Or if had mod extended health, he didn't need BST. He ate bullets. <laughs> yeah, those uh, high ranking accounts or high level accounts with uh, double health. Yeah, man, th that double health mod was really bad. I make rip videos during CVCs. <laughs> A lot of people scan for accounts. I heard someone wanted to be my Ebu. What the hell? No, Tux was a mod. He was originally a mod, but I took his mod away from him because he wasn't here. So there's no need to keep a mod there that's never here. Let's see, Badger, is there a reason why my KD has been at 1.5 for the longest and don't move? Do I do that? Hmm. Okay, when it comes to KD, it's basic math, right? So whatever your KD is now, you have to get double that, right? You have to get double that to get your KD to move a point so you have to go if you kill a, you got to kill 100 players and not die right kill 100 players and not die kill 100, 100 more players and not die you can never die if you die your KD's not gonna move you can't die so you got to be invinci invincible for your KD to go up that's the only way it's gonna move it's not it's it's not lock it's balance your KD is balanced right now. It's even because you're killing a lot, but you're also dying a lot at the same time. So for every 10 kills you get, if you die five times, your KD is not going to move. You get what I'm saying? It's not going to move. So if you get 10 kills and then you die two, three, four, five times, it's not going to move. You have to not die for it to start moving. So if you want to get your KD to go up, start flying a jet. Learn how to fly a jet, go into a lobby, kill everybody, go to the next lobby, do the same thing. Get back in that jet, go to the next lobby, kill everybody on the ground, leave the lobby, do it in the next lobby. That's the only way you're going to get your KD to move. Time to hit that god mode, Badger. Need them 100 kills. <laughs> yeah, you got to go in there and get kills and not die, bro. So every 100 kills, every 20, 30 kills, and you not die once, you will eventually see that your KD will start moving. It's not going to move right away. It's not going to move right away, but eventually it will start to move up. You're going to see those points going up. So, yeah, you you can't die. Want a high KD? Grief a low rank. <laughs> grief has a low rank. <laughs> but even if you if, even if you grief has a low rank and you die once, <laughs> your KD is going to drop like crazy because it's not balanced. Because you know you don't have enough deaths. You have more. You have more kills than deaths. And the minute you die once, let's say if you got a thousand KD, right? You die one time, that thousand is gonna drop to fifty. <laughs> drop to fifty. It's gonna drop like crazy. So, is the yacht useless? I mean, the yacht is only there for you to do the missions, and the yacht has always been useless. It's not something that you'll ever be on. If you get the yacht, you're only doing it to do the yacht missions, and that's it. Chances are you're never gonna get on your yacht again once these missions are just dead so I don't think anybody should buy the yacht you can still play the missions with other people that match make for them so don't waste your money on a yacht that you're never gonna spawn and spawn in or drive you know what I'm saying you can't even drive it what's my favorite car from the update the club bro that's the GTI bro the club I'll show you right now man that freaking GTI was like my favorite bro even though it costs like 1.2, which doesn't make any sense, but okay. <laughs> this car costs more than the Adder, bro. That's ridiculous. But this is my favorite car right here, the BF Club. It's a freaking GTI. All right. Let's see. I know this car should not cost 1.2. It should not cost 1.2. This is crazy. This one's 1.3. 1.2, 1 1.2, 1 like why? At man, at sudden supermotors, bro. Like yo, like check that out. That's 1.2, right? Remember that. That's 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. I want you guys to remember that. This is 1.2. Look at that. Where's the adder? <laughs> this is 1.2. Like yo. This is crazy. 
Where's Adder? Did I pass Adder? That's probably all the way at the bottom. All the way at the bottom with the old cars. Or I probably passed it. Where is it? Where's that freaking Adder at, bro? Am I moving too fast? We gotta find this freaking adder. I'm looking for body type. I'm not even looking at the names. Alright, hold on. I think I don't pass it so many times already. Going too fast. Now I'm going slow. Just slow. Where is the adder? Did they take it off the list? Where is it? That's 1.3. Where is it? Should have been saw this car, bro. I'm about to just give up. I feel like they took it off the list. Oh, here we go. Down some more. Bro, I did not notice this many cars on GTA, bro. Like, Jesus Christ, bro. This is a lot of vehicles on GTA. You see all these damn cars? These a lot of damn cars, man. Like, look. They go to adder right there. The adder is a million. Why is the BF Club 1.2? Does that make sense to anybody? That bucket that can be upgraded into like a lowrider at Benny's is more expensive than the adder? Bro, this was like the most expensive car in the game at one point in time. Like if you had this car, you was the man on GTA, bro. But this car like, yo! You trying to tell me that car is 1.2 and it and it's better than the Adder? <laughs> no way, no way, no way. The price of this luxury car is cheaper than the BF Club. What that tells you, Rockstar, trying to get your money. That's what that tells you. Rockstar is trying to get your money, bro. They want you to buy shark cards, bro. They selling you. A bucket for 1.2 so you can buy a shark card and then upgrade it at Benny's for another meal. <laughs> Yo, that's jokes, man. That's jokes. But I don't think this car, this vehicle is going to spawn in, man. But that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today, man. Be sure to smash that like button if you guys haven't already, man. Um, I think we went over everything that we need to go over. I appreciate the 92 likes from you guys, man. We discuss everything what's up george that in the t20 in his internal was the baller cars on ps3 yes it was yes it was let's see yeah i think that we went over everything that we need to talk about we answered some questions uh cars on the right it was at the bottom the very bottom i had to go down all the way down yeah i had to go all the way down it's freaking crazy i want new weapons or something something that they'll never give I got stacks. <laughs> Something that they'll never give. Yo, kill me. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. The, the freaking dead. <laughs> appreciate that. The two dollar dono, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you, bro. Shout out to you, man. Um, I know why I didn't get a mod again because there's too many mods right now. I'm eventually gonna go through them again. But you know, if you're active, Jamie, if you're active, eventually you'll definitely get it back, bro. So it's all it's all about activity, bro. That's all. Like, when I took people mods, it was, it, was, it was just based off I had too many, and I went through to see who was always here. So I had to take away friends mods, you know, I had to take away Black Queens, uh, Tay, you know, I, I, I play with them, you know, I know them, <laughs> I know them, so, you know, it, it hurt, it hurt. You know, I know they don't care, they don't care about it, they don't care about it, but, you know, they understood, you know, 
you know, Tux didn't understood. I wish he thought he would have understood, but he didn't understood about that, which is why he acted the way he did. Like he really saw that as as a power of but but you know, mods are basically people that you have so much money. <laughs> mods are basically people that moderate the chat. So you know, not everybody needs a mod. You know, there are people that are going to always be there that moderate the stream every single time. So that's what it's for. It's like it's an actual job, not for you people to look pretty in the chat and think, oh, I got a mod. Even Queen, see? Even Queen, she had a mod. You know, she had a mod once upon a time. But I know she's always busy. I know she's always busy. So, and she comes when she can. So, you know, it's it's like that. You know, so I, I tuck away the mods from a lot of people. So. <laughs> you got to get kissed by the sus nation to become a mod. Wow. <laughs> so. I know Queen B, she comes when she can, so, you know, and she never got upset about losing her mod, but some people do. But, yo, I appreciate everybody that came through today, man. Shout out to you guys. I wish all you guys would come through on Apex. I'm going to be going live on Apex in a little. I'm um, just going to swap accounts and get something to eat, and then I'll be live on Apex. So, you guys popped in today in under seconds, bro. So, I hope you guys got that same energy when I go live on Apex, bro. I want to see everybody there. But I got to see you there. I gotta see you there. So, <laughs> but yo, even if you don't stay, just come in and show your face and drop that like, man. Because, like, I'm here to help you guys when it comes to GTA, man. Give you guys some tips and ways to uh, protect yourself when it comes to glitches and stuff like that. So, and also updating you guys on important stuff that you need to know about. Because I used to watch you a long time and you still never added. <laughs> you used to watch me <laughs> and I never added you. At that point in time, bro, I was not accepting friend requests, but yeah, I will accept it when I switch accounts, bro. No worries with that. I will accept it. But like I said, if you're adding me for GTA, bro, I'm not I'm not playing GTA with anybody. But any other game, I got you. I got you, bro. But other than that, guys, I'm out. I appreciate you guys. I love you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Be breezy. I'm out. So, if you, like I said, send me that friend request, man. Any other games? Nothing serious is going to happen. Right. Uh, make sure you take out um, ban uh, account insurance on your account, so nothing won't happen. Make sure you do that. I know you just came in dirty, so some people are safe and some people are not. But to be safe, take out stuff, yo. What I think about the DLC? Oh my God! <laughs> All right, looks like we gotta save. You got a donation. What I think about the DLC? This DLC was shit. It was crap. What do you really get from this DLC? think about it we all can agree that this DLC was terrible you didn't get anything important you got a yacht you got deal you got missions on a yacht that's been in the game for like five years we had this yacht like what four or five years ago right what's up Mac four or five years ago we had this yacht and it took them like five years to give us missions for a yacht a yacht that we can't even drive by ourselves we got to pay 10k just to move the yacht to relocate it why would I have to pay for something for my own yacht and then they gave you like what five missions for the yacht that you're only gonna do to get the outfit and then that's it you're never gonna play these missions ever again because the payouts are not great just like the casino the payouts are not great they gave us what 16 vehicles what's up rifles 16 vehicles that you're not gonna drive let's be honest you're not gonna drive them you're probably gonna buy the best ones in the class Whatever one's the best one, if you're a racer, if you like to race, you're going to buy the best one in the class. Or if you're a collector, you're going to buy them and just fix them up. But that's even that's a waste of money. Like, what do we really get from these DLCs? You didn't really get anything. This was the summer update. The summer update, bro. I said, I said this to somebody. Like, how can Rockstar give us something like this and call it a summer update? School's getting ready to start. And then people are like, oh, well, be happy that we gained something. You must forget there's a pandemic and a global crisis going on right now. Are you kidding me? Fortnite has been excelling throughout this pandemic. I don't want to hear that crap about any gaming company saying that they can't do better. This was trash. Utterly trash. We could have made this ourselves. Like, yo, Fortnite is out here making concerts, hosting DJ events every freaking night, breaking new outfits, new skins, changing the entire map in a whole season by the way like they're doing everything in the world to make sure fortnite is great and you're trying to tell me this is the best that G rockstar can do for the gta community and red dead community this is the best they can do 16 vehicles and five missions 
That's the best they can do? Where's the weapons? Where's the map expansion? Where's the new clothing? Don't even get me started. The clothing that they gave us was shit. The clothing was terrible. The clothing was just terrible. They give you the same outfit just in different patterns. Bro, you get the same jacket in different colors. It's 20 jackets, different colors, bro. What is that? The same tight pants in different colors. That's not creative. Man, it's, I'm to the point where if you're not going to let me make my own clothing, then I don't I don't want it. I don't want it. Because when I do make my own clothing, you delete them. Like Tun said earlier, in it, what inmate said earlier. Why is why is the duffel bag, bitch? Duffel, <laughs> duffel bag, bitch. Duffel bag glitch still patch. What is the problem with that? Duffel bag do no harm to players. It's not game breaking. The duffel bag is not game breaking. It's not causing a problem. Just like the cop belt. It's not causing a problem. They made it sound like that cop belt gave you a special gun where you had full auto aim on everything in the world. You can kill 20 people with one bullet. That's how they made the cop belt sound. It's crazy. It's, it's stupid, man. I shouldn't have to go to creator and DM and then freaking male, female to male transfer just to make a unique outfit to be happy. I shouldn't have to use save wizard just to modify my vehicles the way I would like them to look. I shouldn't have to do like merge glitch for freaking vehicle to put Benny's rims on any car I want. I shouldn't have to do those things. These things should be added in the game already. They should be accessible to the community already. There's backpacks in games, but I can't wear a backpack. But you got Michael going to do a mission in story mode wearing a backpack? I can't use the taser? Because it's harmless? It's a taser! What I'm gonna do, electrocute him to death? When has a player died from a freaking taser? All you do is just tase the crap out of them. But they don't want that in game either. So it's, it's a lot of things that are a problem in GTA, man. It, it wasn't just the PvP that pushed me away. It was just things that came in the community, bro. That happened in the community where Rockstar were just patching unnecessary things that were not harmful to the community. It's crazy. If I want to put North Yankton place, I should be allowed to. Green window tents, I should be allowed to. Three different color patterns on my car. Let me. You guys are the creators of Midnight Club. Give me the full customization option. Like, yo, if I want to take the smallest car in the game and put big boy wheels on it, then let me. If I want to get the BF Club and merge it with the monster truck, think about that. Take the monster truck bottom and put the BF Club on top of that, then I should be allowed to do that. That's not a problem. If I want to change the body of my car with a different body, let me. Let me. Like, let me, man. It's crazy. It's like, no, bro, don't, don't get me started, man. There's a lot you can do in GTA. It can really make, yo, this, like, like I told you guys last time. We got a basketball court that we can't even start any basketball games for. I want to dunk on a dude and then get in the fight after the match because he mad because I slid my GTA nuts across his face mid-dunk. I want to do that. I want to do that, bro. Like I said, can you imagine the fights after a basketball game on GTA? Amazing! It'll be a dude sitting there in the tank just waiting for people to finish the game. Like, yo! There's so many things I want to do and I can't, bro. There's no free will in this game at all. No free will, bro. It's freaking stupid. Like, why do I have to leave? If, if me and my homeboy live in the same apartment building, why the hell do I got to go outside all the way out of my apartment to buzz myself into his apartment? Why don't I have an option to select to walk to friend's apartment down the hall? It's the little things, man. It's the little things that they can do. The little things, and they don't do it. They don't do it. Those small features can make GTA great. Like, I've been saying this for years. I wish I had a skateboard so I can hold on the back of my homeboy's car and ride around on the back of his car and AP pistol the shit out of somebody or throw a sticky bomb. Well, can you imagine seeing a dude on a skateboard in GTA? You might not live long. You might not live long, but yo, just having that small feature to be able to skateboard and pull out the combat MG on a skateboard? Bro, I'd be clipping dudes all day. 
and skateboarding away. <laughs> like, yo, I'll be riding off into the sunset on the skateboard after clipping like five, ten dudes, bro. You can't tell me nothing after that, bro. I killed you on a skateboard, B. Leave the lobby. Like, man. Yo. It's, it's so much stuff, man. It's so much stuff that can make this game great, and they're not doing it, man. So much stuff. So much stuff, man. It, it, it irks my nerves, man. It gets to me. And I know it gets to you guys, too, because I know you guys feel the exact same way I feel. I'm pretty sure you wake up, you, you get on this game, and you see something. Marty McFly. <laughs> exactly, Craig. You get on this game, and you see something, man. And it's just like, yo, why? Where's the logic behind this? They should put a mission about GTA dating now. That's a good update. <laughs> It's the little things. People people are always talking about GTA girlfriends and all that stuff. It's the little things, bro. The little things. It, it's, it's possible. There should have been a gym in GTA. We should have had a gym. We should have had a, a karate gym, a mar uh, martial arts gym, a weightlifting gym. We should have had that. Um, what else? We should have been able to rob um, jewelry stores. We should have been able to rob banks online, not just in missions. You know? That would have been... Like, why, why do I have to rob the freaking corner store bro why for four thousand bucks I, I mean like once bro once i hit level 10 to 15 i was done with freaking corner stores bro i'm not finna drive across the map to rob a, a corner store i'm just saying i'm not i'm not bro like for what it's not like the corner store dude got a safe in there i'm getting like 100k no i'm getting a thousand dollars i might as well just knock out 10 npcs bro like <laughs> like forget that it's it's crazy man home invasions I, I keep saying that these things that I'm talking about most of the stuff was in older GTAs like home invasion was in like older GTAs like I, like yo like I said it earlier like why can't I rob somebody's business an actual player's business if they got a weed shop and they ain't been checking it for like the past couple of days and they're in a session and an alert pops up where I'm just scrolling past such and such weed shop is nearby. Do you want to rob it? Hell yeah, I want to rob it. Let me go in this weed shop. Let me go steal these plants, steal these herbs. And let me go sell it. Let me do that. Like, give me those abilities. Like, it's stupid. Such and such is in the casino. He just hit big on chips. Do you want to rob his chips? Damn right I want to rob his chips. I'm about, to, I'm about to club his ass upside in the parking lot. So when he walk outside, I'm gonna knock his ass senseless and steal his chips. Like, yo. Can you imagine? Dude walking out the casino after winning big. Don't want the he don't want the freaking display car and all got some chips. Hit him. Uh, knock him out. Pick his pockets, take his casino chips. I'm going back in the casino. I'm gonna go spend some chips. Like it's it's the little things, bro. <laughs> it's the little things that can make night. Like, and if these features are in game, man, if they added these features, you will see a lot more people having a lot more fun and playing GTA. You'll see a lot more people. I don't want to blow up somebody's product. Let me let me get the cargo bob and hook their product and go sell it for myself. I don't want to blow it up. Blow it up for what? 5K? No, let me go sell it for the full value price. Let me do that. Like, I'm sorry, when it comes to selling vehicles too in this game, I hate the fact that I'm spending like two million, three million on a freaking car and another two mil just to upgrade it, and then when I go sell it, I'm getting like a million back for it? <laughs> Where's that logic? I should be getting like five mil for this car. I don't spend my livelihood on this vehicle, and you're gonna give me what for it? That's 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 a freaking ripoff. What's up, A-Rod? Yeah, we should have a car shop in here, man. Like, yo, even though, look, you pay for everything you do in this game. You own the arena. You pay to hook up. You pay to fix your car in the arena. You own your own mechanic shop in your apartment that you cannot use. By the way, in the regular apartments, you got your own mechanic shop. Why can't I? I got a mechanic garage in Eclipse Towers, and I can't fix it up. Um, why? Why? Why can't I use it? Uh, CEO office. This is my office. This is my building. I own this franchise. This this belongs to me. Why do I gotta pay? To put engines and stuff on my my shit. I own this. This is mine. This is it belongs to me. 
it doesn't make any sense bro everything is about spending money so you can buy shark cards because it's what's good for business which is why everything in this game is so expensive but yo i'm gonna end it right there i am gonna go to apex get out of your life but <laughs> that's it i'm gonna end it right there man i appreciate everybody that came through today bro um this is badger signing out i know you got some gta heads bro i know you guys are huge gta heads i appreciate the 99 likes from you guys like at the beach how you gonna have a skateboard park but can't skate they just have it there for decoration right it is there for decoration just there just there all these nice beach houses and apartments on the beach like if i'm a beach player let me get the beachfront apartment i'm just saying i'm pretty sure all the beach players can agree because you spawn on the beach just to fight on the beach let them boys buy the beachfront apartment so they can be looking out their window watching the boys go at it and if they want to get in they can jump from the balcony and go at it with them Give them boys the beachfront apartments. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Give them the beachfront. You know that the military base was base players? Bro, I would have been putting nothing but apartments all down the strip of the beach at the base. You know, you know how many base players would appreciate that? Having the ability to, to own like an apartment at the base beach? But no. You know what they gave you? They gave you the next best thing. We're going to give you the ability to buy a hangar. At the military base. <laughs> yeah. That's the next best thing, right? That's what they gave you guys for beach players. At least you got something, all right? We need better DLCs, man, when it, when it comes to GTA. You need something creative, man, when it comes to these DLCs. I don't want more cars. I don't want more missions. I want something that's going to be lively, that's going to make GTA great again. Put a mission where there's actual Bigfoot in game and we got to go hunt down Bigfoot because he's killing people out there in the country or something. I don't know. Put him in the game. He's been talked about since the start of this game. Put him in the game. Uh, give me some submarine missions where I need to actually go down in the ocean and find something or, you know, some diamonds or from some treasure ships or something. Like, give me some weird shit. You know, we got aliens in the game. Let me go steal an alien spaceship or something and sell it at the chop shop for parts or actually create the space docker. You know, let me do that. It was in story mode. We had to go find the parts. You know, let me go. Let me do something like that. I don't know. Let me get abducted. And I'm, I wake up in North Yankton. You know, my character's been probed and everything. I'm, I'm out here in the cold and I'm butt naked in North Yankton. And I got to find my way back to Los Santos. And it, let it be like another like story side mission over there for my character where I, I meet new people and then I got to do missions over there in North Yankton or, or something. You know, something crazy that's going to keep me entertained for the time being. It's, I don't know, man. But I'm out, guys. I love you guys. This is Batter signing out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Be breezy. I'm out. I'm going to, I'm going to ape.